Now, tumult in Paris, the face of France about to change forever. In his this programme, sponsored by Cossacks 2, the definitive Napoleonic strategy game. At the end of the 18th century, the most glorious kingdom in Europe would face a mighty foe, the power of its own people. One man would rise to inspire the nation, to cast aside a reluctant king and a hated queen. And a new republic would be born in blood, the blood of the French Revolution. In 1794, the Conciergerie prison in Paris, an impenetrable fortress on the banks of the Seine, dank, rat-infested, it is known as Death's Antechamber. Inside, what was once the voice of the nation is about to be silenced. As his hair is shorn and his neck laid bare for the blade of the guillotine, Maximilian Robespierre is about to be fed to a monster of his own creation. The French Revolution has reached its pinnacle of violence. The French Revolution is this extraordinary moment when people began to believe that you could actually recreate almost everything in a society, that you could not only change the politics, the institutions, but you could change human nature itself through political action. The French Revolution really does constitute the crossroads of the modern world where everything begins to turn in a different direction. The revolution saw a feudal land turn its back on aristocratic tradition and chart a violent new course towards the future. It would shake the very foundations of Europe and its impact would be felt across the world. The French Revolution is the most important event in Western history. There are developments that can rival it, like the Industrial Revolution, like capitalism, but if you mean an event, I can't think of anything more important. It was the revolution that upset things the most. I mean, again, when you consider that it got rid of the Catholic Church, it got rid of Christianity, it got rid of the nobility, it got rid of the king, it got rid of all these things. The French Revolution would bring bread to the poor, democracy to France, and would establish a whole new order of society. But progress would come at a price. It was really a moment of extraordinary hope, extraordinary ambition, and then it turned into this most horrific tragedy. Now broken and defeated, Robespierre, not two days before, had stood triumphant at the head of the greatest political revolution in Europe's history. So true to its ideals, he was called the incorruptible. So powerful, his slightest utterance could cloak an entire city in fear. A master orator, Robespierre's words were his weapons. Now, silenced by a bullet to the jaw, he awaits the same swift and brutal end that he has ordained for so many others. The French Revolution is about to devour its chief architect. <laughs> 